In this video, we're gonna talk about the female genitalia. Now, female genitalia are divided in the external genitalia and internal genitalia. The external genitalia consists of the mons pubis. Here is the mons pubis. This is the labia majora. And this is the labia minora. Here is the, the bulk of the vestibule. And this gland located on the posterior end of the bulk uh, of the vestibule is the paraurethral gland or the pardolines gland. If we open this, we see another external genitalia which is the clitoris. Here is the uh, cross of the clitoris. Here is the body of the clitoris. This is the glance of the clitoris. Now, the space between the labia majora is called rima putendi. Inside the rima putendi, there are the labia minora. Between the labia minora, there is the uh, vestibule of the vagina. Here is the vestibule of the vagina. Vestibule of the vagina houses three openings, which are external urethral orifice from anterior to the posterior external urethral orifice, vaginal ostium and uh, openings of the uh, paraurethral glands and the uh, skin glands. Now, let's talk about the internal genitalia. Internal genitalia consists of the ovary, the ovary, the uterine tube, also known as the fallopian tube, uterus, and the vagina. Here is the, again, ovarium. Ovarium has two poles. One is the uterine pole, which is closer to the uterus, uterine pole, and here is the uh, tubal pole, or the tubal extremity. There is a ligament that attaches to the uh, tubal pole of the ovary, this is the suspense Sorium suspensory ligament. Suspensory ligament contains the ovarian artery and the ovarian vein. And the other end or the extremity of the ovary uh, receives the attachment of the proper ovarian ligament. Proper ovarian ligament. Now, this is the fallopian tube, has an intramural part inside the wall of the uterus. Here is the isthmus of the uterine tube, ampulla of the uterine tube, where the sperm and the egg cell meets and fertilization generally takes place in the ampulla of the uterine tube, and the infundibulum. This is uh, this part is the infundibulum. Infundibulum has finger-like projections called fimbria. One of the fimbria is longer and attached to the ovary. It's called fimbria ovarica. Over, o ovarium is pretty mobile structure. But whatever or wherever uh, this ovary moves, to the attachment of the fibria ovarica, 
this fimbria also moves along with the ovary. Once egg cell is ovulated, is captured and taken into the uterine tube. Here is the uterus. It has a corpus of uterus or the body of the uterus. Here is isthmus of the uterus. This is the cervix of the uterus. And cervix of the uterus has a vaginal portion which is surrounded by the vagina and has a supravaginal part which is not surrounded by the vagina. When vagina surrounds the vaginal portion of the cervix, it creates fornix. These are um, this, this fornix are called the anterior fornix, posterior fornix, and the lateral fornix. The posterior fornix is the deepest one. Inside the um, uterine cervix, there is the cervical canal. Cervical canal has an outer end, or the uh, this is the external os or the ostium uteri or the uterine ostium and inner end has the internal os. Internal os continues with the cavum uh, uter, uteri or the uterine cavity. Uterine cavity has a slit-like appearance in sagittal sections but it has triangular appearance in coronal sections. You see, triangular uh, uh, appearance in coronal sections. Now, the uter uh, uterus has three layers from outside to inside. These are the perimetrium or the tunica serosa, then the myometrium or the tunica muscularis, and then here is the endometrium. This is the endometrium, myometrium, and the perimetrium. Now look at this one here. Here is the, the ovary. This is the uh, uterine tube. Uterine tube. Um, here is the intramural or the uterine part of the uterine tube, and then here is the isthmus, ampulla, and the fimbria of the uh, uterine tube. Here is the corner of the, or the uterine horn. Here is the uterine horn. Uterine horn uh, is attached by three structures, which are anterior to posterior, round ligament of the uterus. Here is the round ligament of the uterus, uterine tube, and proper ligament of the ovary. So this round ligament of the uterus travels along the lateral wall of the pelvic cavity and then leaves the pelvic cavity through the inner inner uh, annular ring, then gets into the inguinal canal, then leaves the inguinal canal through the superficial inguinal ring and terminates in the uh, connective tissue and fat tissue under the labia majora. Here is again the uterine tube or the fallopian tube. This is the uh, proper ligament of the ovary. The peritoneum covers anterior surface of the uterus and then continues over the urinary bladder where a recess is formed. It's called the vesicouterine recess, which is right here. 
Similarly, uh, peritoneum also covers posterior surface of the uterus down the isthmus uterus and then continues over the anterior surface of the middle uh, one third of the rectum where another recess is created. This is called a patch of ductus or caldesac or the rectouterine patch. This is the lowest portion of the or the lowest part of the uh, peritoneal cavity in the female. Here is the vagina and these are the folds. Um, here is the female urethra, external urethral orifice, I'm sorry, internal urethral orifice, external urethral orifice. Let's look at this one here. Okay, here is the internal urethral orifice, external urethral orifice. Around the internal urethral orifice, there is the uh, internal urethral sphincter or the vesicle sphincter, which is uh, formed by the smooth muscles, controlled by the autonomic nervous system, parasympathetics, relax it, sympathetics, constrict it. And Another sphincter is right here. This is the external urethral sphincter or the, the urethral sphincter made of striated muscle cells innervated by the putendal nerve.